Hey everyone. So here I am with the RCF Save Designer, the Easy Save Designer, where we can configure display angles, the pinpoints, and everything of all the line areas of RCF. Those are the HDL 6, 10, 20, 30, 50, and the TTL 33 and 55. So here, this is a software which tells us the angle, all the speaker, pinpoint, pin configurations, and everything. Uh, the flybar configuration and the necessary data that we want to deploy our liner so here quickly we can have a check so here we can see this is the venue details where the minimum audience starts so we can put it like five meters for example my audience is starting from five meters from the stage and it ends by 50 meters let us assume it ends by 50 meter and let us assume it has an inclination of around three meters at, at the rear so here we can see the venue is already created over here with a listening height of the audience as 170 centimeter that's the default if it is seated you can change it to 130 or 135 whatever you prefer we can also add one more plane if in case we have then we can make a number of audience plane as two and this things brightens up so we can put here as like 50 and 65 5 and maybe 8 so here we can see that there is also a second plane which we have to cover then we can go ahead with the number of cabinets that we have for the show so 12 cabinet per side please remember this always takes consideration of the cabinets you're using per side it doesn't take as 24 as like left right it only takes as 12 cabinet per side since it's a 2d thing and because whatever you do in the left you have to do that in the right for the same tonal balance and we can see the height for example we have a 9 meter truss and we are hanging the system at for example 8.5 meter number of pickup points one or two hdl you know till 12 cabinets you can definitely go with a single point suspension you go higher and you will be needing dual point suspension and there is a standard fly bar and then we press auto split as well as soon as we press this you can see the whole venue is divided into different zones depending on the cabinets you are using and this is all the rcf software does for for you everything automatic now you got all your angles so the first speaker is zero because we all know the first speaker always hangs at a default pin configuration that the company provides with its frame the next we can see it's zero zero two 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 four four six eight so these are the pin configurations you'll be finding behind the hdl 20 cabinet with the same numbers you just have to hook your rigging bar in this configurations and we can see the fly bar is tilted at positive 1.3 degree angle so it's going a bit slightly higher because we have to cover this space as well the total load of the thing is like 406 kg so that will ensure you have a proper nylon grip to have your cabinet up so that you fall into the safety norms and then we have a hanging point of 13 14 so there are 21 points in the fly bar so here it suggests us that the shackle we get along with the fly bar it should be in the pin configuration of 13 and 14 b please remember in the shackle you can see there are two positions of the uh, shackle that's a and b a is the position where you have your pin configurations attached with the shackle so that is recognized as a and the other side is b where you don't have the pin attached so you just reverse that thing shackle and put it there at the pin number 13 14. the distance of the last cabinet from the ground is 4.85 meter so we can just have our laser meter and check so if we achieve this height so we can assume the array frame is at 8.5 meter and the safety factor it says okay that means it's perfectly all right that we can go ahead and deploy our system in the previous video of the hdl20 i have already showed you what are the dip switches for and how do you press them according to the venue what you like what you dislike and for your great tonal quality of your system soon we'll be coming up with some more 
videos regarding other systems also like SDL30, 50, maybe some other brands also like Elacostics. So let's hope we get a lot of learning thing. Also, please comment so that I also learn from you all and share the information and spread the news and do some good work which are correct. Thank you.